We normally would have a bevy of oxalate eating bacteria in our microbiome. And one of the things to me that's interesting is if you look at people who have oxalate forming stones or oxalate stones, they lack oxalate eating bacteria in their gut microbiome. The people, at least in my practice, who are convinced that oxalates are a problem somehow no longer react to oxalates once we get all the other mischief makers out, and including glyphosate-containing foods. And so I think our problem is we, and I've written about this, we used to have a fantastic defense system against the plant defense system against being eaten. And that was our microbiome. There are bacteria that love to eat gluten. They're long gone. There are bacteria that love to eat oxalate. They're long gone. So I think a lot of these issues that we see in our current health is the fact that for the past 50 years, we've been virtually decimating our offensive front four that's protecting the quarterback. And now we're getting guys out of the bleachers to come and try to be the front line. And you, the quarterback, are getting smacked all the time. And that whole defensive system is gone. And we've done it. Among other things, we've starved these guys to death. We've given them absolutely nothing to eat. We poisoned them with antibiotics. You and I both know the recent research looking at fast food, glyphosate, and antibiotics in almost all fast foods in this country. Panera Bread has the highest glyphosate content of any fast food restaurant. Holy cow. And it's healthy. You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey. 